During my time at Geisinger Health System, I developed many multidisciplinary interprofessional programs that focused on complex disease states. I developed the administrative and operational components of both of the programs, uh, which focused on the management of ALS and muscular dystrophy. Due to my successes with those two programs, I was also asked to consult on the development of other programs, including spine trauma, neurotrauma, traumatic brain injury, headache medicine, and Parkinson's disease. I believe that my experience offering direct clinical services to patients gives me a better insight into the operational effectiveness of procedures and policies as they apply to patient outcomes. I believe this because persons who have a business or finance degree do not have an opportunity to see how the decisions they make directly impact patients. Additionally, I have been working as the Director of Nursing for Kodak Behavioral Health for the past six months. My most recent success surrounds the opportunity to devise a new reimbursement model and financial planning. We recently found that we were moving away from a fee-for-service model to a VBP or value-based purchasing model. During that discussion, I was charged with the task of creating work groups to identify how we could survive such a transition. What we had found was that our patients were falling into four specific quadrants, one being high risk, high, high cost, next being high risk, low cost, low risk, high cost, and low risk, low cost. I was asked to identify who fell into what categories and how we could develop programming that would suit the patient's needs, improve the patient outcome, yet still provide us with a financially sustainable model that would allow us to be profitable and stay open. In order to do that, I looked at the COPD model for pulmonary rehab and identified that there was an opportunity there to cross over into behavioral health. Pulmonary rehab focuses on the ability of the payer to compensate for one specific code with multiple units rather than each individual code associated with the services offered. So for the patients with behavioral health, I decided that we would best be putting our, our services into buckets, so to speak, that patients who were in the high risk, high need model would be going into one bucket of service with an opportunity for a la carte items as needed. This offered us an opportunity to incorporate that high, high risk, high cost model for those patients and allow us an opportunity to not necessarily offer every single service in that bucket to every single patient. I believe that those educational and employment opportunities f afforded me the ability to be a good candidate for this position.